Hi everyone, my name is David Liss and I'm the author of Randoms, which is the first book in the Randoms trilogy. It is a series of science fiction novels and I'd like to tell you a little bit about who I am and how I came to write these books. Now I've been a professional writer and novelist for about 15 years, but most of the books I've written are fairly serious historical novels for adults. The Randoms books are my first science fiction novels and my first books for younger readers. Now I came to start thinking about these books a few years back when my daughter started reading a lot of middle grade fantasy novels. Now, as a writer, I was thrilled that she was reading a lot and I had no problem with her reading fantasy, but I told her, you know what, you have to have some balance in your life. You can't just read fantasy. You should also read science fiction. So I started to look for some science fiction books for her to read. Now, what I discovered was that there's a lot of middle grade science fiction out there, but it tends to be a little bit dark. Uh, it often deals with climate crisis and food and resource shortages, pretty serious stuff. I was looking for spaceships and aliens and ships fighting each other in space. That seemed like a pretty good time to me. Uh, I couldn't find it, so I decided I'd write these books myself. I said, I'm a writer. How hard can it be? Well, it turned out for me it was pretty hard because every time I would work on this book, I would feel like I was being not original enough. I felt like I was copying the stuff I grew up loving. And because I wasn't comfortable with what I was writing, I set the book aside. But I kept thinking about it. I kept trying to come up with ways that I could maybe tell this story. And then one day when I was thinking about this project, the idea came to me, what if instead of trying not to write about my influences, what if I wrote about those influences directly? What if I wrote a science fiction novel about science fiction. And so that's how I came up with the idea for these books. So the main character in these novels is a guy named Zeke Reynolds, who is a science fiction super fan. He knows everything there is to know about books, movies, TV, games, comics. If it's got a science fiction element, he knows it. Now, he's chosen to be one of four young people to be the first kids from Earth to spend a year in the capital city of this huge galactic civilization. It turns out when they want primitive worlds like Earth to know what really is going on in the galaxy, they influence science fiction. So science fiction is, in the world of these novels, based on fact. And when they think that a planet might be ready to join their culture, they invite those kids and have them spend some time uh, in their capital city so they can be evaluated. Now, the kids include Zeke, a math whiz, a chess genius, and a taekwondo champion. So Zeke says, these other three kids are amazing. They have all these incredible abilities. I'm just an ordinary kid. Why have I been chosen? And he's told that they always pick three people who have abilities that are really respected in this culture. And then they pick a name more or less out of a hat. They pick a name at random. And they say, that's you, Zeke. You're the random. Well, he's still pretty thrilled to get out into the wider galaxy and see what life is really like out there. But when he gets out in space, the other kids from Earth say, you know what, you're just the random. We have all these abilities. We're going to represent Earth. You just stay out of the, our way. So he's unhappy about this. Nobody likes to feel rejected. But then some things happen. He ends up getting actually into some fairly serious trouble that he has to, has to get himself out of. And he makes friends with and teams up with the randoms from a couple of other alien species who've also been uh, excluded from their groups. And together they try and deal with these issues. Now Zeke's just an ordinary kid. What makes him think that he can take on these galactic crises? Well, he's a science fiction fan and science fiction is based on fact. So all this time he's spent reading books and watching film and television and playing video games and reading comics turns out to be almost a sort of superpower that prepare him to take on some pretty big challenges and to deal with them. So that's the idea behind the Randoms books. I uh, hope you guys like them. I can tell you I had an awful lot of fun writing them and I hope you enjoy.